The medical superintendent of Isikado Hospital, Dr. Dan Ananefrimpon, says the 58-year-old first polyclinic in Ghana is in dire need of expansion as it currently uses corridors to care for patients as well as premature discharge of patients to make room for other critical patients. Dr. Ananefrimpon, speaking to City News, said the Isikado Hospital currently has enough staff but lacks bedding capacity, especially for children and adolescents, which is hurting quality health care delivery to the over 48,000 patrons. City News' Akwese Jayani has the details. The Esikado Hospital is the first polyclinic built in Ghana by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in 1964. It is the biggest hospital in the Esikado Kitan constituency of the Western region with a mandate to provide health care to inhabitants and beyond. But the medical superintendent, Dr. Anani Frimpong, says the mandate has become challenging as the hospital currently lacks bedding space with patients being cared for on corridors, forcing it to do premature discharges to create space. The catchment area is densely populated and a lot of patients come here for care. Sometimes because we are limited by uh, space for admission, we have to uh, refer patients who need um, inpatient care, people who need to be admitted to other hospitals against the wishes of our, our clients and that's a border to us. We have capacity in terms of staff, nurses, midwives, doctors, to take care of the patients, but where to take care of them is a challenge. So because of that, um, just a bit of it for you to know the situation that we are faced with. The female ward for admission has only six beds. The male ward has only six beds. We do not have uh, a purpose-built children's ward. It is rather the corridor to the female ward that we have put some cots there to provide some care to children that need uh, admission, about five courts. So you can imagine a hospital of this stature serving a population of more than 48,000. And you only have five, six beds for female world, six beds for male world for admission. Children, just five courts. It's a real challenge. Every day, early in the morning, you need to come every time as a doctor to come and discharge some patients. Otherwise, that day you cannot do any admission, and it's a huge border. As the hospital hopes for major expansion, the Sekendi Takrade Progressive Club Global, a club of over 100 natives of Sekendi Takrade living abroad after refurbishing the infirmary of the Sekendi Central Prisons, have also renovated the Sikado Hospital's casualty ward, as well as presented a set of computers for its record keeping. The club president, Dr. Caroline Erabna Ampato City News, their motivation and support to the hospital. It is to make sure every citizen in the metropolis and even those from outside who happen to find themselves in our vicinity our, uh, and, and God's sake are all taken care of. You know, because this, uh, this organization is not centered on my family, his family, your family. It's everybody who finds himself anywhere around here. So um, we're renovating. We chose healthcare facilities because we think that it's about time we give to our society. Because that we know that the society did a lot for us when we were all growing up. And plus we saw a lot of good things whilst growing in the hospitals whilst growing up. The way the places are and stuff like that. But we come to a, a time that when you go to the hospital, you don't feel you belong because of the way the place is because um, good environment heals. Most of the time it's not the medications that will be given. So that's the, the same concept we've decided to bring to our community and to help our community build up their self-image. Because if you're feeling well, that is the only way you can give back to yourself and the society. While thanking the club for its support, Dr. Anani Frimpon also used the occasion to appeal for support for the hospital's planned children and adolescent block project. Uh, Skado Hospital is very grateful to Second D Takrade Progressive Club Global for the good work they have done. The renovation of our casualty unit um, undoubtedly is going to uh, bring comfort and improve on the experience that patients that are admitted or detained at the casualty for emergency care. Um, Hitherto, our place is always congested, and uh, um, the state of affairs in the world was not the best. But with the renovation they have done, they've tiled the whole place, 
Um, they've also done painting, internal painting. They've done all the louver blades and they've also provided two air conditioners in addition to two um, wall fans. And we believe that all these are going to improve on the ventilation, it's going to improve on the comfort that patients will have when they are admitted for emergency care. The expectation from managers of this very Escado hospital is that with the right support to the various plans that they have in the expansion of this facility, they would then be in a position to actually provide the needed health care that must go to the huge population that we have here in Escado. For City News, I'm Akwesia Jenim, Escado.